Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alex Owen, your host from Travel Media. And I'll be guiding through you through some of the most important advice of today. So the main thing is nothing is impossible. Everything we can do. Totally deserted, nobody we can find. So we just felt like we were stranded. But uh, eventually we found out the way. Oh, you are leaving this as a sweet memory in your life, right? Yes. Not just the word impossible me. Impossible me. So, something that we cannot achieve. Something we can't achieve. Achieve. Yes, we can also mean that uh, you believe that you cannot achieve. If you believe that you cannot achieve it, then it's impossible. Yeah, good. What's that? Okay, I don't. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. Have you watched this video earlier? Any one of you? I watched. It's a movie. Regarding what? It cannot be. He was trying to push it. I have given you some papers. I have three questions to you. Find the answers by yourself. We have three questions. Each one should try. Okay? First one. Describe the human nature portrayed in this video. Describe the way of human nature portrayed in this video. Next, little bit challenging. How will you tackle such a crisis if it happens in your life? How do you tackle such a crisis if it happens in your life? Moving on to the next. What do you feel as the theme of the video? What do you feel as the theme of this day? I need to get your answer. Question number one. Who got the answer? Describe the way of human nature portrayed in the video. Who can answer to my question? Yes. Anybody else can? The human nature of the person in the video was very courageous and cunning. Very courageous and cunning. Cunning. Yeah. He was able to uh, like escape the shipwreck and plus he was able to take the shipwreck. Next, very good answer. Shall I ask you this question? How will you tackle such a crisis if it happens in your life? Who can? How will you tackle? I'll try to find new ways to survive. You will try to find a new way of survival. Good. Next, what do you feel as the theme of the video? Theme of the video. Excellent. Main thing. Doing the impossible. Doing the impossible. Doing the impossible thing. Yes. Winning over. The topic of survival and the topic of survival and the Excellent. Sit down. Very good. Okay, friends. Now you can just take your weather. Keep it with you. Many objectives of the day. Do you know this icon? This personality? Who is this? Yes. Gabriel Garcia Marcos. The order. Gabriel Garcia Marcos. So I provide here. We can go through this one. Novelist, short story writer, screenwriter, 
and a journalist. Was awarded once. What is the name of award? Who can read this one? New Star International <coughs> Prize in Literature. New Star International Prize for Literature. Good. It's the topic we are going to have today. A shipwreck. What's the topic we are going to discuss today? A shipwreck sailor. We started off on our voyage in good weather, although it was very hot. After about 12 days, however, a violent tornado came from the north. The waves rose high, the skies were black, and the wind howled through the sails. Two members of the crew were washed overboard, and after a day or two, the ship began to leak. We changed our course and drew out of the hurricane, but the next day a second terrible storm attacked us. We could see the shore of some unknown land, but the sea was very rough. The rain dashed down, and we were afraid to approach close to the land. Our only hope was to clamber into a small boat and try to row to the shore. Four of us managed to get the boat into the sea, and we jumped into it. We rowed with all our might, but the waves were like mountains. We struggled on, but at last, a gigantic wave, greater than all the others, hurled our little boat into the air, and it sank beneath us. I'm a good swimmer, and for an hour and a half, I battled in that stormy sea. As I caught sight of the coast, a huge wave would lift me up and carry me out to the sea again. Again and again, I tried to reach the shore. Again and again, I was thrown away by the raging seas. At last, I was hurled towards the shore and fell down exhausted on the sand. The night was dark without a star in the sky and I knew that lying on the sand would be dangerous. I crawled away from the sea as fast as I could and came to some bushes and trees. I didn't know what wild animals there would be in the forest, so I climbed up one of the trees and made myself comfortable between two great branches. There I slept the night as well as I could. In the morning, I looked out across the sea and there was our ship a quarter of a mile away from the shore. I came down the tree and found a stream where I drank some of the cool, fresh water. I lay down and slept again. Okay, so let's I have a one new handout. Let's read the story. But also please go through the story. While you're reading, you have to identify the keywords and no research in the dictionary. Just read. You have to. That was the second page. Up to here. Okay? Okay? Yes. Not good. Not good. You want to read the story. Please silently. So the main thing is nothing is impossible. Everything we can do. Very good. So ready? Okay. And it's really you read it out. You want anyone to just just come and read it? Okay. Start up from the beginning. My first impression uh, was that I was already alone in the middle of the ocean. The ship plunged into an abyss and then disappeared. Plunge? How to pronounce? Plunge. Yes. Plunged into an abyss and disappeared. I had no idea what was happening. I took hold of one of the bobby crates and stupidly began to contemplate the sea. It was a perfectly clear day, except for the choppy waves produced by the wind and the cargo scattered across the surface. Scattered. Scattered. Scattered across the surface, and there was no evidence of a shipwreck. 
Soon I began to hear shouts nearby. With a sharp whistling of the wind, I recognized the voice of Julia and the door at Carabella. The tall, well-built officer who was yelling at someone to catch the old man. It was as if that in that instant I had awakened from a moment's deep sleep. It dawned on me that I wasn't alone at the sea. In the sea. There, only a few meters away, my mates were shouting to one another and trying to stay afloat. Quickly, I began to think. I couldn't, sw I couldn't just swim in any direction. Any direction, direction, not direction. Any direction. I knew uh, we were about 50 miles from the... Uh, Atagana. Atagana is a place in Colombia. Okay. Atagana. But I was not yet frightened. For a moment, I thought I could hold on to the, on, on the crate indefinitely. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Please, friends, shall I show you some pictures? Can you identify the word from the picture? Yes, sir. Okay. No, which word you see in the story? Planch. Very good. Planch. Yes. Another one. Stand up and say, don't hesitate to answer. Life. Loud. Life. 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 Good. Give him a clap. <laughs> what does this word mix reply? Afloat. Afloating. Afloating in the water. Okay. Yes. This one. Uh, uh, Abyss. Abyss. Answer is okay. I can appreciate you, but he's answering by saying, Okay, good. Abyss. A hurricane. Abyss, correct? Yes. You have to stand up and say. Then, this one. Waves. Which wave? An adjective you have to add on along with it. Uh, have you seen? Choppy waves. Yes, good. Sit down. Any other words you have found from the story? You can tell me. Anybody else? Yes. Bobbing. Moving. Moving forward. Bobbing. Anyone else? Have you found any new word? Nothing. Okay. Here. Yeah. Contemplate. Contemplate. You are just uh, viewing and meditating from sitting in a direction. We are just uh, overseeing something to hear and Okay, sit down. This is the summary of the story. Moving on to half the summary. I need I need one of you to just read it out. One of you. Yes, yes, Ashley. Stand up and read. Summary. In February 1955, Seaman Luis Alejandro Velasco of the destroyer. Caldas is eager to return to Colombia after a long stay in the United States. When the ship sets sail, <coughs> however, it is overloaded in the part with contraband. contraband. When the vessel is caught in heavy winds, goods. Okay. Yes. When when the vessel is caught in heavy waves in the car, car in Caribbean. The Caribbean. Yes. In the Caribbean. Eight of the crew are washed overboard, together with much of the cargo. After four days, the search ends, with the missing declared dead. However, Velasco found a raft and remained on the open sea without food and without hope. After drifting with sea currents for ten days, he arrives with his raft on, the co on a coast that is later that he later discovers to be Colombia. He is received first with affection and later with military honors and much money from publicity agencies. He's the main protagonist. He's the main character. Everything we can do. Identify this picture. Yes. A shipwreck. So, 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 Titanic, Titanic tragedy. Yes, very good. Titanic. 
Do you have any idea? Uh, does this picture have any significance in the history? What happened? Yes. It is uh, basically uh, uh, the largest ship uh, at its time was uh, uh, was tragic, tragically hit an iceberg. Yeah. It which struck an iceberg. Yeah. They didn't see it because of refraction. Sand sank in the North yes. Atlantic Ocean. Oh, North Atlantic. Very good. How many have died? How many members were passengers? Along with few members. More than 1,500. So 1,500. Everything we can do. Perhaps. Yes. Come on, to each. And it says, after having read this story, what does the saga and Saga means, what is the meaning of saga? Story. Who can answer my question? What does this saga contain? What does the story reveal? As a thing, as a proper uh, The impossible can become possible if you believe in the yes. Impossible can? Possible if you believe in yourself. Yes. Yes, good. What happened to the narrator? Who is the narrator here? Narrator. Well, let's go. What happened to him? So he was uh, stuck in a shipwreck. He was stranded in the sea, then he found okay, then? Then he found uh, his um, fellow mates in the sea somewhere around, they were shouting each other. And they what happened to him at last? It's my question. Uh, he found the entire island and he. Somewhere. Why did he, let's go, become a popular person in the story? He became a heroic and popular. Later on, yes. So he was why, why are the only person to survive from a huge ship? Survive. Yeah. And he also survived from uh, without getting food for ten days. Without carrying food and other required things for survival for about ten days, right? Next. Have you heard about any boat accident? Happening to any, have you heard about any boat accident recently? Yes. Sir, I don't know the exact place, but it was happening in Korfuka. Korfuka, it was happening in Korfuka. Yes. Give it up. Recently. Yeah, in the Eden holiday. Eden Very good, very good. And it was a, what should I say, saddest news. An expatriate. From my thing in Kerala. It's a Kerala castle. He had died. Okay. Yes. Okay, students. We are moving on to get our group activity started. We have divided it into four groups. Group A, Flamingo. Mother, your group. Conduct an interview. I'll give you. Then, group B, EGA. News recording, group C, writing A, designing picture web, group B, eager, creating a real life situation.
answer your question, so I will answer. Come guys. Don't look at the paper, you can just. First of all, could you please elaborate the sequence of the accident? Uh, we were going, uh, like after the long stay in the United States, we were going from the uh, United States to Colombia and like in the 12th place there was a huge tornado and it washed us from the ship then luckily we had a small boat so we jumped on it and went for accidentally a huge wave bigger than all of them washed us off um, our other all drowned to the sea and uh, I, was a good, I was a good swimmer and I escaped it Ok, thank you so much for the time How did you escape that uh, shipwreck? Uh, uh, as I told you, like everybody drowned and I was a good swimmer. I swam from the ship. It was continuously pushing me, but it took a lot of effort. I did it myself and I was losing. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Okay, well, so I heard that you got in a boat accident. What was your experience in that boat? Uh, it was a good experience. It learned me a new things like to take essentials and be careful while you are in a tornado. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. How many people were there in the boat? Uh, eight people were there. Not in the boat. It's a ship. Uh, eight people were there. Seven of them brought I was only one of Thank you. Next. How did you survive in a standard airport for 10 days? There was fruit, uh, fruits in the tree, I brought them and ate them. I hunted the animals and ate them and I drank the water from the sea. Thank you. So final message for you have to do that. Always be careful while you are on the ship. Always have the essentials in your hand and if you think, if you think, of, if you think it is impossible, don't worry. It, you should think about it and believe that you can do this. It will make it possible. Thank you. Now, uh, 
Now the shipwreck occurred uh, around uh, near the Caribbean, near the Caribbean Sea. This happened. Uh, uh, this happened at the year. Uh, this happened in the year 1955. And the re the reason behind this, the reason behind this is that the ship was uh, overloaded. That's one thing. And the other thing is that it was a very stormy. Uh, it was a very stormy night, and there were loads of uh, yeah, heavy waves. Um, a reporter from currently is joining us to have a, uh, give you some information about the casualties in this shipwreck. And what is the status, the current status of the church and reporting? Hello, my name is Mumu Rabab and I'm from Kairi. Like, actually, eight people were on board and four was washed away from the waves, and three of them drowned. And unfortunately, one of them survived, and his name is Velasco, but still, he is uh, in, uh, in a critical medical condition. Thank you. A reporter from Mario News is joining us and helping us to provide some information about how this uh, shipwreck is going to impact the cruise ship industry. This shipwreck is going to impact the cruise industry uh, by posting their safety measures on drowning and uh, improving, they should improve their safety measures on the sea casualties and uh, disasters. Thank you. That's all for today, folks. Let us pray, end the session with a small prayer for whoever uh, was in, unfortunate enough to be uh, present at the place where this had happened. That's all for today, and until then, goodbye. Next, Shayanthi. Shayanthi is Good afternoon, everyone present here. Today, I am going to say how to challenge yourself. So, I am going to invite my friend Mohammed bin Jamal to say his quality. My name is Mohammed bin Jamal, and I survived an earthquake. How I survived is that uh, I had hope in living and I had courage that I will survive. I invite Mohammed uh, Shahnawaz to say the next quality. To say the next quality, the way of survival from a critical situation. Okay? Yes. Good afternoon to all. I said Mohammed Shahnawaz and I survived a fire accident. By having the trust in God and myself. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. I invite Mohammed Sina. I'm fast. You go. Myself, Mohammed Sina. I was having, I was having courage and courage and confidence that I can swim and go. In the place that tiny. Oh, he is very courageous and confident to tackle any situation. I want to offer that first. Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Al Fas and I survived the birth accident. Uh, I am a good swimmer and I have a big confidence that I would be survived. Thank you. Good swimmer. Yes. Now I invite Zahir. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Zahir Mohammed, and I survived a road accident uh, because of my skill of problem solving. Problem solver. Problem solver. Yes, good. I invite Sally. Hi. Hi. I survived my confidence. I survived uh, this one man with uh, confidence and uh, belief in God. From, if you were on a deserted island, how did you survive? I survived with confidence and uh, belief in God. Yeah, believe in God. Good. Okay, your message, final message. Stand up here, brothers. Stand up here, brothers.
So the main thing is nothing is impossible. Everything we can do. Good afternoon, Tora. Myself, Ashi. Today, we designed a picture of here, so my friends will be explaining each other. So, uh, this, uh, uh, this story is happened in 1955. Uh, uh, the seaman Louis uh, uh, Alejandro Velasco uh, uh, was going, uh, go, uh, returning from the United States to Colombia and, uh, and he had a uh, boss back in a shipwreck. Next. 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 Keywords. Keywords. Apples. The characters are Louis Arasco uh, and uh, Calabar. Uh, Louis, thank you for any other characters are there. We will come to know that one later. So we did it. Get over the story. Okay. Uh, we have the values: responsibility, uh, responsibility, confidence, and courage. Very good activity, sir. Light will 
Can you agree with me? Yes, sir. Can you agree with me? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay.